You ever heard of a slaughter? I oughta start dipping. Sipping on that ST gets me to tripping. I don't slip our bangs with that mad ass dog pound gang. It's a DPG thing. Corrupt from the SC. You wanna test me? When you gonna put me up on one of your videos or something? You know I can still get in. Check this out. Back to another episode of Rose and Gold. I'm your host, International King, and this is my lovely co host, Dr. Ross, back from another modeling day. Good evening, everyone. And let's get straight into this horoscope because we're in the month of Taurus right and now. Dr. Ross, before you get into the horoscope, okay. I want to start this out with Wendy Williams. Exactly. Miss Williams, we see that you're in the news again, and you are arguing with the Puerto Rican princess. No one's going crazy over it. No one's going crazy over you. You need to give the Puerto Rican princess her flowers or roses. That's because right. if not, Dr. Ross and I give her some. And once again, in case you guys forgot, we're going to mention it once again because the Puerto Rican princess was our winner for the She's Hot contest as well as Miss Andrea Day who was at the Oscars. So those were our two She's Hot winners for yesterday. We want to say once again congratulations on your win, Miss Andrea Day and the Puerto Rican princess. Exactly. Congratulations. But one, one thing I want to say about Miss Williams, you're not with Kevin anymore. You're not with that figure. And I'm pretty sure no one's going to be over there trying to go with the uh, how you do with hot sauce, finger licking, KFC looking self. Exactly. Because you already know the Puerto Rican princess should have came on last national live TV and bust this skull open. But we're not going to go that violent. Horoscope because this is Taurus. So for Taurus, you're headed for a breakthrough today. Taurus, lean into your rising need to explore a new path forward. Resist the urge to stifle the electric energy in the air that's calling out for change. Too fast, too furious. That's right. We want to say for all of our Taurus out there, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday and thank you for viewing the Rose and Gold Show. But let's get into our hot topics for today, starting off with the Oscars. So everyone at the Oscars got a $205,000 a gift bag. And you know, a lot of those things are donated in the bag, but we want to say, we spoke about the Oscars a little bit back, but in case you guys are wondering, we're just touching on some few things that the Oscars has decided to reveal to us recently. And what I want to say about the bags is that's boring because they're getting a $250 bag, but they're making millions in or the movies, 200, so... Or $205,000 bag, Dr. Ross. But they're making millions in the movie, so... True, because most of these most of these actors, they come there coming from a $45 million, $10 million paycheck. The only thing I was worried about about the Oscars was Holly Berry's pumpkin haircut, because it's not Halloween yet, Holly Berry, so put up the pumpkin suit. And Holly Berry, we see that you're trying to say you cut your hair yourself that day. All we have to say is your hairdo was really bad. Maybe need it was someone... for the jokes and giggles. Maybe that's what she was doing. But she Dr. Ross, she still needs someone like IK to wash her hair for her. With the Jamaican shampoo, of course. Link in the description below. Let's get into our next hot topic for today with Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan says Chadwick Boseman's Oscar snub. There's no award that can validate his legacy. You know, I did want to mention about this. I wanted to say that a lot of people were um, mad about Chadwick Boseman not getting his award, but I feel like personally, so his wife has been receiving all the awards that he's been um, been given because it's sad about his passing. But I do want to say, Chadwick Boseman, his acting was phenomenal, and Viola Davis and him in that movie that people were saying he should have won an award for was phenomenal, but I feel like they should give it to an actor that is... And Doc, alive and well, they, so they and, can enjoy the award because Chadwick Boseman, we all know that he is a respectful actor, actor and, and we all respect and him. And Dr. Ross, pump the brakes one second. I want to say, just to clarify, Chadwick Boseman is a prolific and the greatest actor of our time. And exactly. we're not saying that he doesn't deserve an Oscar because he does, but we're saying that an Oscar, he's bigger than that. That's also a spectacular film, which Dr. Ross and I have to watch someday. Anthony Hopkins. Yes, exactly. Anthony Hopkins, we also want to congratulate you on your Oscar win. And we know that people are still a little bit peeved that Chadwick Boseman didn't, make, he didn't get an Oscar. He got more than that. What people should be mad about is the Nomad's Land Oscar. I don't think they should be worried about that. They should be worried about the Nomad Land Oscar filmed in somebody's backyard with a bunch of people just on the street. And they won an award. And that's not the worst part. The worst part is that the actor receiving such a phenomenal big award had to 
She's damn near turning to the Kanye West. She has to go on stage and howl. I don't know if her inner wolf came out and she just ran off the stage or she was maybe drinking a little bit too much in her glass. But either way, it was a no for me. That's got, the, what they should be talking about. The Oscars was just like this song right here. Act a fool. The, I'm pretty sure everyone in that entire stadium had a whole glass of wine. Make it two, Dr. Ross. Let's move into our next hot topic with Jimmy Kimmel has fun with Trump's statement, slamming the Oscars. Jimmy Kimmel is always, he's always in some type of shenanigan about the politics and he's always trying to make jokes about Donald Trump, but we're not going to be talking about Trump this episode because we don't give him the benefit like, like that, so let's get into our next hot topic. The Kardashian to Jenner family members ranked from least successful to most successful. We all know who this is. Kylo Jenner. Exactly. That's for you. We hear what you've been doing with the sweatshop. Kylie Jenner, pump the brakes. Slow down a bit. You maybe need to take that 400000 that you're giving to your security officers. Maybe maybe give the bodyguards eighty to 100000 a year. And then take the 300000 that you have left and give it to your workers. Exactly. And don't make them wear a whole hazmat suit out here where they can barely exactly. see through the eyes. You only need two bodyguards. You don't really need a whole squad of bodyguards like you're one, in the military. One for you and one for your daughter. Stormy, right. whatever her name is. Cloudy. Exactly. Let's and for the workers, IK is completely right. You need them not to be dressed in nothing but covering their eyes. And not only that, I don't understand why they can't bring in their phone and tell their, um, their spouse, their significant other, oh, I'm working for Kylie Jenner. And we want to say, Kylie Jenner, I can be your next bodyguard. I'll work it for free, even. Let's move into our next hot topic with and The our Rock. Final one. With The Rock at 49. How does the world's best paid actor spend his millions? Never he mind, doesn't. we're gonna go into our next hot topic because The Rock, we've had enough, Rock. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon comments on 2000's tabloid coverage of Britney Spears. You know, Britney Spears, we. You've been quiet for a little bit. You haven't been posting videos recently of you dancing. You've just been taking a second to maybe just work out the stuff with the core and your Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Exactly. Lindsay Lohan's father. I don't feel like there should have been a need for him to get arrested to suggest your doctor to someone, but that's, that's what's happening in the news recently. And let's close it off like it. And Dr. Ross, I know that was our final hot topic for today, but I want to end it off with the bombshell topic. Having Good. Jennifer Anderson and Jennifer Lawrence both in masks and sweats in L.A. and New York. They need to take the mask off. Respect COVID, but this is a thumbs down. Keep looking scandalous and keep looking hot. That's the first thing for me, Dr. Ross. But the second thing, they may be working on a new film or new TV show. You never know. Most likely. Because we also hear... Jennifer Anderson just came back from multiple ad campaigns, and Jennifer Lawrence just came yes. back from her brand new Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon TV show. That's right, and we congratulate both of those successful women, because you guys have been looking good recently. First of all, J-Lo doesn't want Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, exactly. go back to your AA meetings and get off of the alcohol. And she doesn't want Mark Anthony, because Mark Anthony is over there with a wheelchair, over there damn near in a wheelchair. Do I need to say more? And with Kylie Jenner, pay your workers. You need to stop paying the minimum wage and take that 400000 a month for your security and give that to your workers. Exactly. Instead of putting them in outfits where they can barely see, taking their mobile phones and putting them into a box. Because Kylie, Kylie Jenner is acting like she invented makeup knowing that she didn't invent makeup. She worked hard, she made her money, and she's a billionaire, and we respect her for that. But... She just didn't make her money from the makeup. Tell us what the ingredients are. Tell us what the mixture is. The formula for We're makeup. Waiting. It's like Dr. Ross and I saying that we invented dish soap. When it's dish soap has already been around for years before IK and I were even born, so... Exactly. Kylie Jenner, pay your workers more. And for J-Lo, we know you're not going with Ben Affleck or Mark Anthony. These were all of our hot topics, but we'll catch you guys in the next installment. What do you